A diode normally allows electricity to flow in only one direction and blocks it in reverse. But in today's project, I'll show you how a diode can actually conduct in reverse when heated, something unexpected that might just surprise you, so watch carefully until the end. This is a BD139 transistor, a powerful NPN transistor often used for amplification and switching purposes. To prepare it for my circuit, I will bend its base and emitter pins at 90 degrees, making the connections easy to solder and keeping the layout compact. Then I will trim the collector and base pins to make them short, which helps in keeping the circuit neat and prevents unwanted loose connections. After that, I'll apply a thin layer of solder to all the pins so the components stick firmly during soldering. Next, this is a 3-volt LED. I will solder its positive pin to the emitter pin of the transistor. This LED will act as the output of our project. After soldering, I'll trim the extra leg of the LED to keep it short and tidy. Now, I'll take a 270 ohm resistor. This resistor plays a very important role in controlling the current flowing through the circuit and preventing the LED from burning out. I will solder one pin of the resistor directly to the collector pin of the transistor. Here comes the most important part, the Zener diode. I will solder its positive pin, anode, to the base pin of the transistor and its negative pin, cathode, to the resistor. Normally we use a Zener diode for voltage regulation, but in this circuit I'm using it in reverse mode which creates a very interesting effect. Now it's time to connect the power supply. I'll solder the negative wire of the 3.7 volt battery to the negative pin of the LED and the positive wire to the negative pin of the Zener diode. At this stage, everything is ready. When I connect the battery, nothing happens. The LED does not glow. But here's where the magic begins. When I apply heat to the Zener diode, its internal characteristics change, lowering the breakdown voltage. Suddenly, the transistor switches on and the LED starts glowing brightly. This happens because as the Zener diode heats up, its breakdown voltage drops, allowing current to flow into the transistor's base. That small current at the base is enough to switch the BD139 transistor on and it completes the circuit for the LED. This simple project not only demonstrates how a Zener diode works in reverse bias, but also shows how temperature can affect electronic components. Such a circuit can be turned into a temperature sensor, overheating alarm, or even a thermal switch to protect circuits from damage. Imagine attaching this diode to a heat sink or a motor. When it gets too hot, the LED or a buzzer would automatically alert you.